Hello guys, I'm making today, I'm making a hot temperature liquid soap. So I have already poured in my oils here and uh, I'm, I will leave the recipe, I will put up the recipe at the end of the video. For, and uh, the only reason I'm giving the recipe is for those who are advanced soapers. And when I say advanced soapers, I mean people who have made cold process soap and hot process soap so you have to know how to make both because hot process soap um, it's it's different um, process so you have to know the stages and stuff like that and this is going to be made without me cooking it so it's it's just going to be a soap made from using hot hot lies and hot oils and that's all I'm doing to make the soap it's not being heated up by crock pot or, or any other heating up method so stay tuned and I will be back okay so I'm finished measuring uh, my lye out so I have potassium mostly potassium um, hydroxide and sodium hydroxide they're both measured in this container and I'm just waiting for my uh, liquids to heat up and I will be right back okay so I am getting ready to add my light to the liquid which is glycerin and water distilled water so before I do this I have my gloves and my goggles and let me just take a temperature reading because for the it's 157 for the glycerin to um, you have to heat the glycerin up a bit so um, I'm gonna transfer that into I'm gonna transfer this into the plastic because the last time I did not like I ended up with a broken um, glass I don't know if it's because I mix um, lye in it, but I don't want to take that chance again. So, see, because the thing with the plastic is that plastic will melt. So, this is a fairly good plastic. So, I'm just going to add. and it should dissolve and you hear that it's kind of like making a bubbling sound and that's only because this is very hot so it's gonna bubble up see that it's bubbling up That's what happens. This is why this is an advanced um, soap making. Okay, let's get a reading on these oils here. Oh, 203 and for my lie. 252 so the light is fairly hot and I'm gonna go ahead and pour my light into right. I'm going to pour my light into the oils here try not to touch Try not to touch with your gloves, your glovey hands. So my oils was about two hundred and
so the oils was about 200 and the lye is 252 and before I add my lye the liquid was at 157 so I need to remember this too next time I uh, I know what to do well I do know what I'm doing but <laughs> I'm gonna keep this here with me because I need this so now I'm going to stick blend this this blender my blender is very powerful sorry about the noise okay, I'm barely touching this thing here and to trace so I'm gonna do I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep stick blending this and it's gonna volcano Um, it did volcano a bit and basically now it's going into the gel phase stage if you can see that and I'm gonna just stick blend it a bit more So there we go soap all done and this took about because hmm, it's a small batch this took about hmm, I think I think I did this for five minutes um, and that is it you have um, hot process sorry hot temperature um, liquid soap I almost forgot to add some a tablespoon of sodium lactate in there that's about um, should be about 
an ounce, I think. I'll measure it to see how much it is. And and this helps to store. It thickens and it makes it more nice. And I like to put a bit of a, a tablespoon of glycerin too and it's gonna all work out really nice when you make take your paste and and make your um, soap or body wash or whatever <laughs> Okay, that's it and I'm just gonna glop this into my container that I'm gonna store this in I'll make a bit of a I'll make a take a bit of this a little bit later let it rest for a bit just to show you how nice it is um, And there you have your soap. I think this took me about um, all together. Let's see, we're down to probably eight minutes because I set a timer. I still have two more minutes left on the timer. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something for those of you who are, who are advanced soap makers. Try it out. Try out the recipe. It's really nice. And um, I will show you the end. I will post the um, recipe at the end. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.